Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the last lab. So quickly, uh, we'll start building the RC low pass filter and we will look at the AC simulation of the low pass filter where we'll be looking at the parameter sweep. So we'll change the values of a parameter of a component and we will look at the response, the frequency response of that system. So uh, very quickly, I will be looking at the here. Uh, RC low filter and I will be choosing the value of 1 kilo ohm and for the capacitance I'll be choosing the 2 microfarad and somehow the frequency the cutoff frequency will be 80 hertz so that's what we are intend intending to do for the first thing and then we'll change the frequency very quickly so uh, we'll go start with the instantiation and we'll instantiate uh, instantiate the resistor okay all right so we have uh, R for rotation and then we instantiate the capacitor. Okay, uh, here's the capacitor. We'll bring in, instantiate the ground. We'll put the ground here. I will instantiate the voltage. All right. And I will wire the circuit. Once it's done, let's do check and save fit the window by hitting F key for resistance as I said 1 kilo ohm is more than enough so I'm not changing that for voltage uh, sign now this is important one thing normally we've been changing its amplitude and everything but for AC simulation uh, the, the amplitude of AC magnitude of 1 which is 1 volt is more than enough so it means that this is going to be the amplitude and we will be looking at the AC simulation so for me 1, one is more than enough uh, which is set right okay uh, and for the capacitance now this here comes the things so for the capacitor we'll quickly choose the two microfarad as we said r d by default r0 is one kilo ohm so for this one we'll choose two micro i said yes two microfarad let's do check and save uh, we'll label v in and v out so we have V in here and V out here. So again, V out. Escape, check and save, launch ADXL. Create new view. Yes, this is my name simulation parameter sweep. I'll add the test. I'll add the environment. Yes, okay. Set up environment. Okay. And then we'll run the AC simulation instead of DC. Is transient, we are going AC simulation. The sweeping variable will be frequency because we will change the frequency and look at the response of the system. The start frequency will be 1 hertz and stop will be 100 kilo hertz. And this is, we need that long window so that we can look at the response of the filter in, in a way we know how the system's response is. All right, I'll say apply, uh, okay. Once this is done, uh, copy outputs from the design. Sorry, these are the design variables. We haven't designed that. Uh, we don't have design variables. So from design, we are going to look at the the V in and the V out, and then escape, and then let's go to our ADX cell. Sorry here. Here, we have selected them. See, okay and then we go to ADXL and we run the simulation let's for me 
you know the simulation has started coming here so I can't see the simulation anyways so let's run the simulation okay no errors so let's plot oh, that's Vn so Vn you see I mean to be changing frequency we see the Vn and then uh, not replace uh, just append to it the simulation so plot here here's the response so here's the plot the system so we have a changing frequency and as we set the magnitude to one and this is the one and for filters we know uh, at 0 0.707 volt is the is the frequency um, is the cutoff frequency so if I bring the if I look at the marker here so uh, we can we can bring in the mark you just click the a key a and you'll get the marker here here this is the marker and then you can just change this marker as I said that 707 millivolt is your value here we can see the frequency so once we are done with that we can uh, this is not what we intend to do we intend to change the frequency of this uh, of the uh, sorry the change the value of the one of the parameters and then look for the frequency response for this I'll go to Q and I'll change it into instead of giving it a value I'll call it capacitor sweep okay I'm calling, calling it capacitor sweep so now I've, it, I've given it the name of variable and then I'll do check and save check and save once that is done I'll go to ADXL in ADXL I'll go to the test and then edit open test editor in test editor I'll select this one copy edit variables because now we've added the variables so I'll go into edit to edit variables okay and then from here you don't see any design variables here but we have the design variables now instead of giving a value we've already made it uh, a C sweep so I'll say copy from when I say copy from and actually the variable our variable shows up here okay perfect once that is done I know the system has picked up the variable here's the variable C sweep is there okay perfect once it is done I'll just close this one I'll go to the corners in the corners I'll I'll hit click to add the corner uh, before that I think we have to set the global yes for C sweep for the capacitor I will uh, double click here and I'll choose the default value default value will be one microfarad all right uh, and then I'll go to the corners click to add corner we have one nominal corner I'll right click add corner in the add corner window uh, here here's the uh, the the wait let me just make it a little bit bigger so that you can see here we have the parameter we have the corner so the design variable so we have to look at the design variable so click to add design variable this is a C sweep uh, C sweep is our design variable so I'll just uh, for C sweep I'll right click and I'll say give me two nano um, 20 nano and then 200 nano which is again 2 microfarad and then um, 20 microfarad so the four different frequencies and I can actually name this uh, this corner to be um, cap LPF all right once this is done I'll say apply I'll say okay I have added four different values I think here right and then our system should take care of all those four values when you when you're done here then run the simulation and actually you will start looking at different yeah here we have uh, four different uh, plots being looked at and once the simulation is running all right we have the four plots so I'll go and I'll right click and I'll say plot all and then go to the here this is where you see all those plots all right all with the different frequencies and this is the magnitude you can also change it into the log scale by double clicking that and then once you double click and then you can change the scale to log scale uh, sorry this is right now it's an auto scale 
you can change the not this one I want to say the magnitude you can double click this and instead of ma magnitude you can change it into a log scale where it will give you the values in the decibels all right here you see in the decibels but normally for uh, to make it make things simple just use the 707 millivolts as the cutoff frequency and use the magnitude of the voltage these are the cutoff frequencies that was the short quick video on how to do the do, do the things and as i said you can use the now instead of a you can use the b to choose another marker all right you can choose different markers to show the cutoff frequencies please use the markers that's it that was a quick tutorial